Salman and Kamala Mukwaz, welcome to I work for a student ministry called The Bible Talks. My name is Sipesi Biela. I am a ministry apprentice, a second year ministry apprentice. Uh, my name is Nelisa and I am a campus worker and administrator at The Bible Talks KZN. Ikamalami Uluyanda Wagwangiti and I work as a ministry apprentice for The Bible Talks and my local church which is Christ Church Glenwood. My name is Pelele Nalane. I'm a ministry apprentice I'm working for Trinity Church Morningside and the Bible Talks on the Westville campus. Everyone uh, who, who is a Christian is called to be in ministry, but not everyone uh, is equally called to uh, pursue ministry full time. So, apprenticeship is a two-year program which offers um, ministry training. Designed for men and women to basically get a taste of ministry in their local context. Getting into the, the behind the scenes of what ministry is about, what it involves and what it requires from you as an individual. I am a first year apprentice. The reason why I decided to join the Bible Talks is due to the urgency of the gospel and uh, I have a desire for people to come to know Jesus through his word. So it was uh, 2018 when I did my first year apprenticeship. I felt that the apprenticeship was a great opportunity to grow um, individually, um, as a, to grow personally as a Christian and also to, yeah, to know what it means to be to be a Christian. Join the apprenticeship to learn more um, about ministry and how to better uh, reach to people uh, with the good news of Jesus Christ. This is my second year and the reason why I decided to do the apprenticeship was because I wanted to learn about the kinds of ways I can be serving in the local church. I did my apprenticeship in 2016 and 17. Our apprenticeship helped me to really see how my life would look like or how it would be structured to, to do ministry full time. The apprenticeship was had its ups and downs. Um, the ups being just seeing people's faces light up when they understand the gospel for the first time. Seeing people come to faith, seeing them come into community and life changing for them. Um, the downs is the opposite of that, seeing people abandon the faith, reject Jesus and completely um, turning towards something else other than Jesus. Yeah, it has been helpful for me to, um, to, to, to continue reflecting on whether I want to pursue uh, full-time ministry or not. It's, it's actually a privilege because I'm sure there are people who are working at the moment and who desire to share the gospel but they actually can't mainly because their work takes up most of their time and they end up not being able to share as much as they'd like to share the good news about Jesus Christ. So far, it has been both challenging and encouraging. Um, challenging in a sense that um, doing ministry under COVID, that means um, our interaction with people is very limited. So we cannot go to campus to do evangelism and Bible studies are done online and there's a frustration that comes with not physically engaging with people and just the fatigue that comes with constant Zoom meetings. But um, it has also been encouraging in a sense that God is still at work. We are seeing people week after week joining the meetings. People um, are coming in to hear God's word and they want to read the Bible with us. So that has led me to trust God even more and just depend on his sovereignty and rest on him for strength. Reshaping how I thought of ministry. Going from thinking that, what do pastors do? Do they just preach on Sunday and that's it? to actually realizing that to run a successful ministry, it takes a lot of dedication, administration, um, and teamwork. So things that I didn't have in place in my mind when I was thinking about ministry. I would say go for it. Um, we are called to serve God, serve his people, and we are called to live lives that glorify God. Try the apprenticeship program. You, you get to do ministry immediately. 
but at the same time, there's still an option for you after one year or after two years, there's still an opportunity for you to say, no, I, I think I'm not ready for this, or I think this is what I really want to do. I will, yeah, encourage them uh, very much to explore that thought, as we know from the Bible, as Jesus said, that um, the, the, the harvest is dead is indeed plentiful and the laborers are few so there is a need for people to uh, to to come to minister and so i guess this is the great opportunity to explore whether you can do that uh, long uh, like full-time paid or you can continue doing it on your yeah, respective profession i would encourage them to really join um, not only is it just for considering um, full-time ministry but you get a sense of um, what it is being a Christian. Um, you get to, to grow and flourish personally and also in better loving and serving God's people. Two things I guess I can say. First, continue praying about it and well done for watching this video. And three, it's going to be hard but it's going to be very rewarding. And so I just encourage you to come get a taste and feel the joy in your heart of being used by God in that particular way. Hope to see you soon. Cheers, bye.